You dream of becoming an astrophysicist from your childhood like Carl Sagan or you might have watched Fantastic Four and want to become like Reed Richards and study and explore space travel. Or sometimes you just want to revive those uh, extinct dinosaurs in Jurassic Park or build your own AI assistant like Jarvis or Age of Ultron. But the most important problem, my friend, is you have no idea how to do all this, right? So we have some vague knowledge that after class 12, we need to pursue, do what? Pursue our degrees, build some credibilities by pursuing science-related courses. So we already made a video on uh, best ISERs. ISERs are what? Indian Institute of Science Education and Research. They are very uh, reputed research institutes spread across India. And uh, we have talked about best important ISERs for physics, chemistry, maths, bio, it gained lots of traction. Uh, many of you came asking for specific fields in all the ISERs that are popular and that can be pursued. So of course, in this video, we are going to talk about top fields across ISERs so that you have the right clarity when you are going to join ISER after qualifying, of course, exams like IIT NEST after class 12th or a drop right so that you can actually pursue your dream of doing all these things that we just talked about space travel astrophysics ai data science biotechnology genetic engineering and much more by the way this in no way means that that particularizer is only popular and valuable for that particular field which we are going to discuss it's just that it's our personal opinion that uh, this can be a particular preference order when you are doing it uh, while uh, doing your counseling for ISER right of course people from any ISER are doing anything related to uh, different fields and interdisciplinary as well and making great impact and making things happen across the world so hello everyone my name is Swami Prakash and and uh, here we are going to talk about top fields across IZs and uh, stay tuned till the end because you'll get to know lots of newer things that you might have not known before watching this video. So the first one is physics. And of course, what is the most fascinating thing that goes on in physics today? AI, quantum computing, high energy physics. So if you're interested in quantum physics, then Iser Pune and TVM are the best choices. Why? Because of their collaborations, okay? Quantum Tech Fund and National Quantum Mission. Okay, it does not necessarily mean that other ISIS are not good, but of course, especially these uh, are some of the campuses in India that the administration is focusing more on quantum technology and they are pushing towards encouraging more and more initiatives related to quantum computing and technology. Okay, this uh, Pune also has very high and popular optical physics lab that of course contribute to quantum technology by studying uh, atomic uh, physics, uh, quantum optics and related stuff. So condensed matter physics, if you're interested in Bhopal and TVM have very strong nanomaterial and solid state labs and uh, having expertise in nanomaterial and solid state also makes Bhopal very good contender for chemistry. Okay, so it's sort of interdisciplinary, which we are going to talk about as well. Uh, optics, I have already talked about. So advanced laser and photonics research group. Okay, for example, in class 10th, 12th or a drop, you might think that these fields are very discrete. Mathematics is separate, chemistry, biophysics are all separate from each other and optical physics uh, if somebody is doing research in there, does not necessarily mean that they should also know some biochemistry, but uh, this is not true. At uh, advanced levels, research becomes very collaborative and interdisciplinary. So somebody who is doing photonics research, they also are in collaboration at the same time with people who are synthesizing molecules, okay, so that they can do the spectroscopy, they can uh, synthesize, they can study the dynamics, okay, that this uh, particular molecule compounds are producing, and then they can put those things in these systems and study the results, okay? So that is how the world works. That is how nature works, okay? So I'm composed of biology, physics, chemistry, and of course, maths is everywhere, okay? So uh, that's what research is all about. So that is what we need to keep in mind while discussing. So that is why we have tried not to, you know, keep all the ISIS segregated based on just fields. But of course, sometimes it's just that the research groups are uh, high in number, they are producing more outputs. So that is the only criteria that we are seeing, okay. Now talking about uh, astrophysics, okay, very fascinating. Kolkata and Mohali, they sometimes 
seem to be excelling in astrophysics and related things. Uh, it's not just astrophysics, it's uh, solar physics, um, cosmology, quantum gravity as well. So Mohali is strong in theory and cosmology. So I mentioned cosmology, it, it um, sometimes merges with string theory and quantum gravity as well. Now we have high energy physics, so Mohali, Pune, and of course some of the ISIS have collaboration with institutes like CERN and uh, some of the collaborations here uh, are also with IUCA Pune. If you know what is IUCA, then comment down below, okay? So plasma physics is also there. Now, uh, coming to chemistry, okay? So, remember I just talked about Isaac Bhopal. So, that is why we see that uh, we have Bhopal, Bhopal at multiple places, okay? Materials chemistry, nanomaterial synthesis, right? Talking about organic chemistry, synthetic chemistry groups are very great in Kolkata and Pune, okay? So, of course, they sometimes uh, switch between different campuses, People from studying organic in Kolkata can also visit to other campuses for their internships, project, MSc thesis. Sometimes people studying organic chemistry in Kolkata, they can also uh, switch between different campuses for their research projects, internships and uh, MSc thesis. But for booking purposes, this is what it is that some of the fields are primarily more popular as compared to other in some either campus. So, we have inorganic chemistry, collaboration with national international laboratories and faculty groups actually adds a lot of value to that particular campus and the research people who are doing, um, you know, carrying out the research and leading the groups over there. Okay, so we have uh, reputed inorganic in Kolkata Mohali. Physics, we have, uh, of course, spectroscopy, like I said. A lot of this is uh, done in collaboration with the physical groups as well, meaning optical groups, condensed matter experiment groups, sometimes high energy physics groups. Okay, so focus on molecular properties. Pune, Bhopal, materials chemistry, of course, Bhopal again. So this is the reason that sometimes Bhopal is also included um, in startup or entrepreneurial ventures because uh, it deals with lots of applied chemistry, okay, and related things that can be directly um, used to make products, make materials to impact the society and solve societal problems. Now, chemical biology, highly interdisciplinary, Pune, Kolkata focusing on uh, living systems. It includes lots of physics, maths as well. Okay, now uh, talking about maths, we have pure mathematics. So Mohali, Kolkata offer very strong theoretical maths departments and research. That is true uh, because although Kolkata is a comparatively shorter maths department, but it's very strong and very supportive and collaborative as well. Applied mathematics, I just talked about spectroscopy, active matter systems. So that happens lot in Pune, Bhopal because they focus on modeling and applied problems in living systems. So computational mathematics, Pune, Bhopal, Kolkata, majorly because more and more they are also working hugely on data science and AI related things, right? So that is why they also need to have a good background in computational mathematics. So Mohali, Pune have applied probability research groups, okay? A lot of this is also used in chemical biology, active matter systems, okay, and some physics as well. Now, uh, talking about biology, we have genetics, genomics, Mohali, Pune. Mohali has a very reputed genetics section, okay. Molecular cell biology, Pune, Bhopal have advanced molecular labs. This has already been covered in chemistry and some maths, okay. So neurobiology, Mohali, Pune again are popularly known for uh, neurobiology. In fact, uh, there is a saying about Iser Pune that if you throw a stone in the campus, there is uh, one by three possibility that it will land on a biology major. <laughs> okay. So biology is that uh, famous in Pune. So uh, systems computational biology, again, Mohali, Bhopal, something we have already hinted upon in the previous slide. Now, developmental biology, Pune, TVM again, okay, because they have model organism labs and coastal ecology. Coastal ecology is somewhat, is also leveraged in Iser Kolkata to much extent, okay. Ecology, evolutionary, TVM, Bhopal, then marine biology as well. But again, keeping my point, repeating it, you can do anything from almost any Iser campus, right. So, this is what we need to keep in mind. But if at all, we need to fill a preference order, which we need to, so this, uh, is some of the insights that we can consider before doing that. Okay, now earth environmental science, suppose you want to uh, do some oceanography or earth science or geology. So earth planetary science, geophysics, planetary modeling, Iser, Kolkata and Pune are the best for that. Now environmental science, again, we have already discussed, TVM is really good and Bhopal is equally good and reputed as well. Now climate science, so involves regional climate modeling. Now this is getting very popular across the world these days, climate modeling, because this really helps with uh, considering all the real time data sets and predicting climate behavior for the future. So climate modeling is best done in TVM and Bhopal. Now 
we have interdisciplinary and emerging fields okay so the whole science is interdisciplinary but uh, all in all some of the fields are recently emerging quantum technology is also one of them by the way so we have biophysics cross disciplinary labs in mohali and pune why because something are related to active matter systems chemical biology right model organisms so that is already done in pune and mohali leading to you know very popular research in biology as well okay so you see some very strong basic science research in couple of fields can lead to you know them getting merged and creating a very new fascinating field now ai plus physics very hot topic okay computational modeling strong in bhopal pune kolkata obviously data science ai plus active matter systems plus applied research okay leading to this now quantum materials quantum properties of advanced materials that is done very nicely in tvm and bhopal okay chemist can synthesize those materials physicist can uh, actually study the dynamics and uh, phenomena on different kind of experiment done on those materials and see what kind of results are observed right so uh, just for example people are trying to produce uh, non ohmic resistors superconductors and different sort of stuff okay but that is very fascinating so we have nanotechnology a layer now we have nano biotechnology okay so integrates nano and biotech in pune and bhopal so for example have you ever heard of different kind of bots delivering the cancer therapy cancer treatment okay yes that is being done in real okay and that includes lots of nano biotechnology in uh, medical science disease research and lot of places where human intervention is very uh, effort intensive and not possible now we have synthetic biology advanced genetic engineering in mohali and pune suppose you want to revive those dinosaurs so lots of it will be useful including active matter systems now we have space weather and solar physics suppose you want to study uh, the winds produced by the sun right and in the, its effects on different planets including our dear earth so you are doing something like this leader is of course kolkata and sometimes pune and mohali as well now new additions are data science and sustainable technologies now data science is a very recently introduced field and proper bs ms or you know bs degree is being offered at iser bhopal and kolkata via iser aptitude test so if you love something doing very applicable studying data from different uh, scenarios gaining insights out of it and taking decisions so data science can really help you out in that and not just that uh bhopal has data science and ai initiative as well now sustainable technologies bhopal is a good option for sustainable technology why because they are already working in in applied chemistry materials nanotechnology okay yes because of this and it has a research center on semiconductors as well so now this was some data and insights on uh, best you know fields across all the isers that we have across the country so in this video we have restricted majorly ourselves to isers which are seven in numbers across india so pune kolkata bhopal mohali trivandrum barampur and tirupati now research is not just restricted to isers it spans across isers from isc bangalore to nizer bhubneshwar to iscs kolkata cmi isi du and, and many other research institutes that you don't even know about right so if you are interested in knowing more about other research institutes across india do let us know about that in the comments we'll make a full video on it and if you have come this far and if you feel this video has been a little helpful then do consider subscribing because that encourages us to make more such content for you all okay so see you in the next video everyone bye bye mm -hmm.